Hi folks, it's me Hannah Hey, I'm back at the uh, Bangkok airport. Uh, mission successful and surgery completed. Yep. So, yeah, unfortunately the um, ticketing counter doesn't open until like two hours from now. So I'm kind of waiting for the ticketing counter to open. Um, yeah, lots of baggages here, like my big suitcase and filled with like medicine and stuff. Okay, so when I got to the airport, the first thing I did was I went potty. Well, as the saying goes, when you got to go, you got to go. So I went potty. Yep, but this time it's a little bit different because that was the first time going potty at an airport after the SRS surgery. Yeah. So yeah. Um I the experience like the level of self-confidence, right? Um, it was just different from before. Like, I felt so confident uh, going there. And of course, the whole experience, you know, didn't feel unnatural at all. Yeah. Um, the, well, yeah, two things happened there though. Um, the stall was really, really tiny because the ticketing counter wasn't open yet at the time. I had to try to squeeze in my giant suitcase and my carry-on inside the little stall and somehow they fit um, and I was able to go potty. And while going potty, the commode I was sitting on was like, it was an automatic flushing system and the commode just kept flushing for some reason. And, but, um, at least, you know, it wasn't flushing aggressively, like, it was, um, um, it wasn't, like, was splashing around or anything, so, which was nice. Yep. Yeah. So, um, the first, first time going party at, um, an airport, mission successful. Yeah. So I requested wheelchair um, um, assistance um, because I couldn't walk too far like long distances at this time and especially with like um, my little luggage here and with maybe like stair steps and stuff um, even on walkways entering the walkways um, penetration controls there, but then the, um, there's still some pain in the area. So, yeah, um, got filter service, and then it's just so nice. Like, so um, I've got a, this nice little coffee shop here, and uh, place an order for a butter croissant. I got to see this. This is so like gooey gooey. I am going to tear this apart. Yeah, got to see me tear this apart. I'm trying to put the camera. Alright. I'll just tear this apart like this. Pick this up. Mm. Isn't that delicious? Isn't that look delicious?
The wheelchair surface is amazing. It's a very long distance to the gate, but the wheelchair surface has helped take Like, um, the trip is so much easier because of the wheelchair surface. It was time for my progesterone, so I took capsule of progesterone and one of the um, effects of it is it can cause drowsiness so I'm like feeling very, very sleepy right now but I'm at the gate and I really appreciated the wheelchair service um, I'm really going to miss Thailand because the uh, people are so nice over here and um, they helped me so much like when I got to the airport after I went potty the, I went to the general information because I couldn't stay stand standing up for a long time and she the, the agent there she um, took down my information and she helped me find a seat nearby and um, because the ticketing counter wasn't um, getting open until a little later uh, she um, let me sit there comfortably at a chair and when the ticketing counter opened she came and I was like with a wheelchair service that was just amazing like fantastic service and uh, the airport is really, really huge and I'm really glad I got the wheelchair service because there was really no way that I could have walked uh, all the way to the gate uh, it's like and on top of that the 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 wheelchair service uh, provider, a gentleman, he asked me if I wanted to eat something that was really thoughtful. I mean, he just didn't just push me over to the gate. He asked me if I was hungry, like, he asked me if I wanted to eat something because there was like a few hours of waiting period and I took full advantage of it, of course. And um, here um, I needed coffee because I'm a caffeinator. And so here yeah, he found me a really nice um, a coffee shop. And I ordered uh, a butter croissant and a cafe americano as well. American um, and with soy milk you know all habits from the vegan days and um, I just appreciated his service so much and he brought me all the way to the gate such an amazing service I really really appreciated it I'm really going to miss Thailand um, the customer service here is just best I had seen in the whole world. I used to travel like 
Europe, all over US. I mean, but this is just like above and beyond the best service ever from hotel to restaurants to everything. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm feeling really, really sleepy. I drink some coffee, but it doesn't seem to be helping. I have a feeling I probably want to pee in a, in a in the near future, so I am trying to find out whether uh, where a restroom is. But anyways, if I had had surgery like back home, um, getting to go back home after surgery. I'd have been like really really excited and stuff but here I think I'm really going to miss this place I do have plans to come back here for a visit um, yeah it's just a beautiful place and yeah and next time I come um, I'm expecting to have fully recovered from the surgery I can, I can Really, really enjoy this place. Food's just simply amazing. Yeah, the hospital was amazing. The hotel stuff was amazing. If you're looking to get SRS surgery, um, like, you've got to consider Kamal Hospital. It's amazing here yeah. <coughs> have contact information for the hospital in the description below and um, contact information for the international coordinator Darcy um, is in the description below yep yeah. okay so just boarded the plane to Korea I have my donut cushion here uh, on my seat. That the hospital gave me when I left the hospital. I was so thoughtful of them. Uh, yeah. The, 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 the donut cushion is helping me um, sit so much more comfortably. Yep. Good morning from LAX. I just uh, visited the um, international terminal just now to exchange the currency from Thai butts back to US dollars. So, yeah, the car is moving downstairs. Yep, I'm heading back to my car right now. Yeah, I got back to um, LAX Thursday afternoon, California time, and the trip has been an amazing trip. Yeah. Asian Airlines, the service was excellent. And Thailand, of course. We, yep. I'm missing Thailand already. Like the hospital staff, it was so amazing. And the hotel staff was so amazing as well. Okay, so I'm back at Star. Star! Um, I'm going to head out from, from LAX before the uh, parking costs kind of accumulate. You know, like really, really expensive. And right now, 
I think I'm going to head to my, uh, my favorite airport in the world, the Long Beach Airport, the little parking lot, so that I could do um, a nice uh, concluding part of this uh, video blog. Yep, cool. Okay. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, I'm at my favorite airport in the world, the Long Beach Airport, uh, across the fence from the Long Beach Airport. But my classic spot area is closed off at this time. So, oh, airplane. So there's the fence. Seems like a bunch of cars parked there, but that's okay. I like this little area because it's nice and peaceful and I could do video blog and I don't have to like talk like soft stuff. You know, I can talk any way I want to talk nice and freely. Today has been my uh, first time taking a trip aboard STAR um, on a freeway since the SRS, since the SRS surgery. Yep. So, yep. the experience um, has been amazing. Like, I have my little, uh, little donut seat over here. Oh, I scratched myself. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to flip the phone camera. So, the stars is pretty low dashboard. Yep, so um, I have my little um, donut seat cushion here. The nurse at Kamal Hospital was so nice. She went and uh, got me this little cushion. I got it all nice and positioned um, so my tailbone is not sitting on the seat. So now my tailbone is nice and nice and uh, clear from the seat, um, the donut seat. And the donut opening is like, directly below a mystical. So uh, uh, there's the bottom of the skirt there. And yep, so nice and clear. Uh, there's no pressure, upward pressure uh, against mistakes. So it's actually like feeling quite comfortable right now. Yep. And of course, star is stick shift. And yeah, um, my leg posture, of course, you know, I have been driving star with my legs spread like this because I'm trying not to put like too much pressure on mistakes. Like I don't want to squeeze mistakes. Um, I want mistakes to recover properly in a in, in a timely manner. Yep. So um, yeah, like my shifter. Do -do. Sexy shifter. Sexy star. And sexy henna. My. Sweater of sweater. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my reading glasses so I can see the phone. Sexy reading glasses. There. Now you recognize this henna, don't you? Yep. So my SRS trip to the Kamal Hospital has been more than simply getting my SRS surgery. It has been a healing experience for me. It allowed me to get in touch with the me that I had forgotten during the last hard 10 years. So when I was visiting Kamal Hospital, I felt happy there from deep within. Going there has changed me more than 
just my sex organs. Visiting Kamal Hospital, or visiting the Kamal Hospital ecosystem has changed me from deep within. Or I guess I could say going there has repaired and restored me. I seem to be healed from the inside out. And my attitude seems to be restored to my really old professional no-nonsense winner self now. And I got a chance to get in touch with the Thai side of me. Did you know uh, my great-great-grandmother was Thai? Now you do. Needless to say, I'm planning to learn how to like, be able to converse in Thai. Um, I've already picked up a few words during my trip there. Kapkun ka means thank you. Swadi ka means hello or good morning. Um, it's a greeting. Um, ka um, as a woman, but um, as a man, it's kru. So instead of saying kawadi, um, instead of saying sawadi ka, um, as a man, um, it's um, Sawadi Krub. Yep, yeah. Sawadi Krub. Ka sounds better, I think. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So if you're a man and you want to say Ka, then it's pretty easy. Um, become a woman. That's right. Come on, hospital stop and hotel stop. Thank you so much for taking good care of me during my visit there. I really, really appreciate it. You were all fantastic. Of course, Dr. Kamal, thank you so much for performing the beautiful SRA surgery and converting Mr. Wiggles into Miss Tickles. I know Miss Tickles is still recovering at this time, but she's looking quite pretty uh, for this stage of her recovery in a couple of months time especially when the swelling goes down I have a feeling she's going to look really really pretty yeah thanks Issa um, for all your help during my visit there thanks Darcy of course <clears throat> And of course, the three nurses there at K Garden Kamal Hospital's hotel, and some and first. Thank you so much for all the helps you had given me uh, during my stay there, and thank you so much for teaching me like the post care. Uh, procedures and showing me how to dial it and yeah and showing me how to put a condom on a dilator yeah vaginal and I got a chance to attend um, a Kamal hospital dinner party at a really really cool seafood restaurant Thai seafood restaurant um with Kamal Hospital staff, uh, including Darcy and a few transgender patients. Yep, um, yeah, uh, thanks Siri Pan for inviting me to the dinner party. Thank you so much. I really, really enjoyed the dinner. That was fantastic. Yep, and of course to everyone watching this video, I could hardly wait to visit Thailand again um, in about a year and meet Dr. Kamal and his amazing staff. 
on. For Miss Tickles' checkup. Yep. Um, all the nurses there who took good care of me during my recovery at the hospital. The, the six days at the hospital. They were so amazing. Like, um, there were times when I was feeling real uncomfortable just having to lay on my back you know, the whole time for like five days. And um, yeah, they were simply just amazing. They helped, um, they helped me feel comfortable. And, and, and yeah, on top of that, you know, it's like um, deep within me, you know, I, I felt comfortable with them. Um, they, they really cared, like they genuinely cared. Um, they were professional, like well-qualified, fully trained nurses, but they weren't acting like like snobbish about it you know they were so kind and so empathetic they um they were very professional the quality of their works just amazing yep and yeah and there were times where they had to clean me you know on the bed and stuff um, they provided me with like an amazing level of care um, it's just it's like it's just amazing amazing top-notch quality care um, yep. and there were times when they had to come and clean me because I couldn't get up to wipe myself I couldn't get up to wash my hands so and they, uh, came to my bed to clean me and they were like so nice about it too um, I really really um, appreciate that yep I appreciated that then and I appreciate that now yep so yeah a definitely a successful trip and come on hospital the whole like the whole thing like hospital hotel the staff uh, the nurses um, and of course dr. Kamal amazing top-notch yep um, Kamal hospital information um, is in the description yep and contact information uh, to reach Darcy Silva um, the Kamal hospital International coordinator is in the description. Yep. Letters. I'm going to show you a little short video I recorded at the dinner party here. Hi folks, I'm having dinner with um, the gang here. Darcy's right here. And there's uh, so Phil. And Camilla. And Carver Philippines. Carver Philippines. Stuart from Australia. Australia, okay. Here's mine. I'm still hungry. Nice to meet you. I can eat a lot. Say hi. And hello. Yeah, we're having a huge feast here, so. Later's.